Right now is the emergence of artificial intelligence and its use in schools. It's creating opportunities, risks, and questions about its impact on creativity and critical thinking. While some schools are banning the use of AI in classrooms altogether, one school district in Gwinnett County, Georgia, went all in, launching a curriculum that brings the technology into the classroom starting in kindergarten. Christina Burfini has more and Christina is here and she joins us right now. Hey Christina, what's up? What do you got for Good us? Good morning. So this approach to tech goes way beyond the usual stuff like computer science and robotics class. Teachers are and students are embracing artificial intelligence in nearly every subject from English to art class. Now so far the machines seem to be winning over students, parents and teachers that is, but there's still a lot to learn. We went back to school in Buford, Georgia. At Patrick Elementary, about an hour outside Atlanta, are we doing this? Yeah. these first graders are programming Legos. Today we're going to look at this AI thinking skill, creative problem solving. More than just blocks, they're building familiarity with technology. So you're building a sequence of things you want it to do? Yeah. Part of a pilot public school program trying to prepare students for the challenges and opportunities that come along with the rise of AI. Do you know what AI stands for? Yeah. What does it stand for? It stands for robotics. Close enough. It stands for artificial... Intelligence. Oh my God. They may not know what it stands for, but they already know how to use it. You just need to press this. Okay. Oh, wow. During our visit, six-year-old Olivia went beyond the lesson and figured out how to program the sensor to respond to different colors. Do you like coding? Yeah. What do you like about it? I like that we could build stuff and we can, like, do stuff that we haven't done before. It's something Gwinnett County Schools hadn't done before either. About five years ago, school administrators decided to use some of their regular annual funding to develop an AI-driven syllabus first at a new high school, then expanding to a middle and three elementary schools. Is this a gimmick? Why is there AI in these schools? You know, AI is such a popular buzzword right now, but we've actually been doing this for a couple of years. Sally Holloway is the director of AI and computer science for the district. For us, it's thinking about what do our kids need to know and do to be ready for their futures. So we're not like always messing with a robot, um, but what we are doing is teaching them how to think and solve problems with these tools. Sometimes, however, they are messing with robots. Some people code it, some people help design, come up with ideas. We all just work together as a team. At Seckinger High, social studies teacher Scott Gaffney is incorporating the technology in less obvious ways. Can AI help us develop a solution? Students ask ChatGPT to analyze years of traffic data, then use the findings to help come up with solutions for safer roads. How would you have done that lesson differently five, ten years ago without this technology? That would have taken probably about four or five days. The way that these kids yeah. think, they process information so fast. So if we can give them something challenging, real time, they are very engaged with it. And by all estimates, machine learning is something these kids will have to continue to engage with once they enter the workforce. One study estimates 10% of the jobs created by the year 2030 will be in previously unknown fields. And most will see at least some level of automation. Were you influenced by AI? Down the hall in art class, students were asked to draw a sketch, then enter a description of it into an AI image generator. Overall, it didn't really help with what I wanted or what I was looking for. Debating if these computer-created works inspired them to change their original design. Using AI sometimes helps me. Sometimes it's chaos. Other times I actually post out a couple things that I can use, like certain angles of the head. But when it came to the question of artistic integrity, do you think AI art is real art? <laughs> Nobody? <laughs> AI is like, it's just taking everyone's work and just collaging it together. So it's technically not original. It's an ongoing debate as the line between AI assisted learning and outright outsourcing is still okay. being defined. Is there a concern that as these kids become much more familiar with these products that they could use it for cheating? So when I was in high school, there was this thing that came out that everyone was really upset about called Google. 
and they thought that that was just going to really ruin education, and it hasn't. But administrators here acknowledge there's a lot they, and all of us really, still don't know about the technology. Almost every teacher today talk about the ethics of whatever they were doing with the AI. We like to say that we lead with ethical conversations about AI. Just because we can maybe doesn't mean that we should. Helping students identify, analyze, and utilize artificial intelligence while still growing their own. I think that really opens the door to kind of let them choose the problems that they want to explore um, and hopefully lays a foundation for where they're heading and, and the things they're going to encounter in the, the real world. Now, seeing all of this, you might assume these are charter or magnet schools. No, they're regular public schools. If you live in the area of that district, you get to go there. Now, the school also has a robot mascot. It's a she, and she's, well, a little terrifying. Uh, but it's probably just one of many to oh. come in the future. There she is. She was crawling up and down the school. Uh, some kids thought it was great. Some were a, a little unnerved by it. <laughs> what is going on with that low, the, moving the back end of it um, like she's, that? Was she's that dancing. A, that's oh. dancing. Oh, that's no, no cleanup after that? Okay. Because it looked like you might need the little baggie after that one. <laughs> Look, luckily, she still needs a battery, and the battery does die. So I think we're safe from the robot overlords for the moment. But yeah. these kids are whip no, smart. John Tower on. said it's called twerking, Tony. Oh, <laughs> twerking. it's called twerking. But these kids, um, back to your, your piece, though, Christine. Christine. Christina. <laughs> and no, never, never since Tony said it. Uh, I, I, I think I said it first, actually. Oh, did you say it? Christini Ruffini? Okay. No, kids in your middle school said it first. Right? They, it, yeah. they used to call me that in an elementary oh, school. But, I, but I these like middle it. school kids were, were really smart. They were smart. so smart. They were yes. so engaged with the technology, and they knew how to use it. I mean, I'm just we're just becoming accustomed with these tools. These kids are already off and running, and that's yes. something the school is trying to catch up with. I like any time a little kid uses a phrase, well, actually, yeah. Yeah. whatever is coming after that, you go, oh, you're a smart kid. Okay. Exactly. What are you going to say, Nate? Sounds like a young Gail King right there. Oh, no, no, no. Uh -uh. oh, we are talking to your teacher very soon. Uh -uh. That's called a super tease. Uh, Christina, thank you so much.